February 1988-89. Arthur Cox has an impressive record as manager of Derby County. Each year he's been in charge has been more successful than the one before. It's a record that's taken Derby from Division 3 to Division 1, and Arthur's always been ready to make changes on the way. The first year back at the top had been tough because Derby struggled for goals, so there's a real sense of anticipation for the new season. Paul Goddard's the reason, a quality striker from Newcastle. Goddard chose Derby when he could have gone to Liverpool. Trevor Hebbard joins from Oxford United. Nick Pickering from Coventry. John Chidozi on a free from Tottenham. But it's Goddard at £450,000 who makes the big impact against Middlesbrough. Hit long by Sage. Typically Nick Burke from Goddard. And Micklewhite trying to use the speed of Chidozi. And a mistake by Marbury. Still Chidozi. And finally off the line by Parkinson. Chidozi, well found by Goddard. Here's Hebbard. And it's just over the top. Pez has come. Goddard, a goal for Paul Goddard on his debut for Derby, five minutes into the second half. Millwall the next, another newly promoted club to follow the win over Middlesbrough. The Rams are helping to make history, it's the first ever Division I match to be staged at the Den. Docklands gets a close-up of Derby's internationals, but reputations are going to mean little today. Millwall have every intention of making Wright, Shilton and company their first victims. Lawrence to take the free kick. And against the post, Sheringham! The first goal scored by Millwall in the first division at the Den. It was a scrambled affair. They won't worry about that. Sheringham right on the line. Following that, John Didosi tears a cartridge, he'll be out for two months. Bring on Newcastle, Paul Goddard, against his old teammates. In from McMinn, and a chance for Goddard, a great chance too, and how did he miss it? Sage. McMinn. Played off by Goddard. Hebbard taking it away from Callahan and scoring his first goal for Derby in tremendous style. Trevor Hebbard. Down from Hebbard. Derby filling the centre now with McMinn at the far post. Goddard just beat Scott for the decisive touch. Next, Forest. So early in the season, yet one of the biggest games. A good result against Forest is worth more to Rams fans than a mere three points. Derby get a draw, just. It's Hodge, and off the line by a ball people, Paul Goddard. Cross. McMinn coming in here. Ted McMinn. Foster and Forrest have scored with only four minutes left. Played wide to McMahon. Derby throwing everything forward now in from Sage. Mark Wright is in there. So too is Hebbard. They've hit back within a minute. by Chettle, and here's Crosby. Well, a real sting in the tail of this one, and Clough's got the better of Wright. And he's past Hebbard as well, Nigel Clough for Forrest Wright's got back. Derby have survived. 
So far, so good. The Rams are seventh, but who'd have thought Norwich City would be leading the way? Derby concede only two goals in their four games, a pattern that will continue. Unfortunately, an old problem's about to return. Where are the goals? They draw blank in the next four games, three of them at home. It's a depressing run, starting with a home defeat by Queen's Park Rangers. Derby County kickoff, attacking the goal to the left in the first half. Queen's Park Rangers, who come here fresh from their first win of the season last week at home to Sheffield Wednesday. But they're in trouble here, it's Cross in the opening seconds, and he's put it wide. Came off right, and then was run by Parker. Francis turning for Scythe, it's a terrific cross! And Mark Steen could hardly miss at the far post. Trevor Francis is running the show at the moment. Steen. Here's Parker. And Shorten did well. Williams. Williams again. Nothing going in for Derby. That home defeat's followed by a goalless draw at Southampton. Derby's best chance coming from this corner. Watch for a shot from Garant Williams, charged away by the experienced John Burridge. Next, Norwich City win 1 0 at the baseball ground in a match that turns into a personal nightmare for Mark Wright. First, he scores an own goal to give Norwich the points. Agonisingly placed just inside the post. Then, if that isn't bad enough, Mark Wright is sent off for a late and unnecessary entry into this melee. Against Charlton, another failure up front. The Rams unable to get anything useful on target. They come pretty close to losing it as well. Charlton's approach work is good. They're shooting wayward. Derby sink to 15th in the table. The problem's there for all to see. Only four goals scored in eight games. Five of those games finishing, Derby nil. The defence looks good, but the fans have seen it all before. Enter Dean Saunders, bought from Oxford United for a million pounds. Easily a Derby County record. Saunders is a Welsh international and explodes onto the scene at the baseball ground with a flurry of goals. It took Dean Saunders just 35 minutes to provide a perfect entrance at the baseball ground. A reflex header at the near post. His first goal in a 4-1 win over Wimbledon. And Rams fans were already roaring on a new favourite. Wimbledon did equalise six minutes later. A master kick by Hans Sagers. Alan Cork persistent in the Derby penalty area, and Peter Shilton can't get to the ball. Can't fair with his cross, and in powers Vinnie Jones. But it all came right for Arthur Cox's men in the second half. Mel Sage made it 2 1. And coming up now, the Dean Saunders special, which really made sure of victory. 3-1 with 21 minutes left. The million-pound fee had come in for media criticism. On this display, Saunders looked cheap at that price. Ted McMinn's trickery also catching the eye. Substitute Gary Micklewhite anticipating the driven cross. Derby 4, Wimbledon 1. It's amazing what goals can do for your confidence as Tottenham are next to discover to their cost. Here's one. Moran checking back. He was in danger of running offside. Waddle gets the cross in. Stewart! And six minutes into Paul Stewart's eighth appearance for Tottenham. He's got his first goal and his teammates share his joy and his relief. Waddle plays it earlier this time, and it's Terry Fennick coming in. Oh, 
Callahan. And it sailed over Mitchell Thomas to reach McMinn. Still McMinn. And Derby have scored, and Bobby Mims was beaten on the near post uh, by McMinn. Waddle leaves it. Gascoigne takes it. And Shilton wasn't fooled. Here's Wright, who really does look a class performer when he moves on into midfield. Very comfortable on the ball. You could say the same about Ted McMinn who's given Thomas a roasting here, and again got his angles absolutely right. Goddard, and Saunders, beat Mims to it, and Dean Saunders gets his third goal in two games for Derby, and they lead 3-1 now. Suddenly, the whole Derby team has a new zest. The goals are flowing for the first time since promotion from Division 2. A packed crowd eagerly await the visit of Manchester United. They aren't disappointed. It's one of the best games of the year. There's a definite feeling around this East Midlands town that Derby County are on the up again. Champions in 1972 and 1975, but they almost faced extinction four years ago. Arthur Cox, a master team builder, has galvanised the financial resources made available to him. And Derby are buzzing, but this is a test to see just how far they've come. It's a difficult time for Manchester United, remember. They've plenty to play for. Five league games without a win. This terrible habit of losing the leads that they seem to get in every game they play. And burdened by injuries. Nigel Callagher. Saunders lurking in the middle. And Derby have the game's first corner. comes up towards the near post. And it's off the line by Blackmore. And I think it was McMinn who made contact initially for Derby. Ted McMinn, the rather unpredictable Scottish forward, who scored his first goal for Derby last February against Manchester United. His back header over Leighton, but not beyond Blackmore. McClare. Strachan. Here's Mark Hughes. Sharp to the left. All his previous First Division games have been at left back. There's only been four of those. Short concern that Derby might prevent the cross coming in here. And it's Sharp who tries to supply it, but runs out of room. And it might be a season in which Alec Ferguson does have to look towards his younger resources. Shilton declined the offer of Blades for the short goal kick. Robson, a thumping header, but a shove into the back of Williams that the United captain didn't agree with. He didn't see it that way, the same way as Terry Holbrook saw it. side. Saunders trying to sneak in behind Bruce who kept his eye on the ball. And you can see 
steep-sided ground, the baseball ground. It's terrific for retaining its atmosphere. And this fixture announced over the public address as the fans made their way in as the biggest derby had had this season. And Saunders! Can you believe it? They salute their star. When it's going your way, you don't waste any time with niceties in the shooting. He plays away with expectation more than hope. And Saunders' expectations were answered there with a half volley that sped past the win. Seven minutes gone. Derby County lead. Dawn, Dean Saunders now with four goals in two and a bit first division games for the club that paid a million pounds for him. Strachan trying to engineer a quick reply. a chance he was facing the goal but from that range and having to take the shot instantly it was wonderfully well executed so much talk but it's deeds on the field that matter and his deeds are just what Derby County ordered trouble only temporarily Ted McMinn for Derby and Leighton found the shot it was a hot one he was aching to get goals McMinn and he finally picked up a couple at Tottenham a week ago and that clever change of direction set up the opening here Derby have another corner Callahan across to take it Leighton was fouled, or maybe not even the goalkeeper. There was certainly some shoving in that congested near post area. Manchester United needing a spot of inspiration here from their senior players. Hebbard, well won by Robson, and uh, a breakdown in communications with McClare, who had started his movement in a different direction from where Robson was looking. Well, in the 13 barren years that Derby have had against Manchester United, they can scarcely have dominated a spell in any of those games like they have dominated here. McMinn. Oh, the crowd on their toes again. Even those sitting in the stands were up off the seats. He's a very exciting player. And he's got a free kick as he was fouled by Robson as he let fly. The type of crowd pleaser that the game needs. Manchester United don't need at the moment. Callahan, right. Saunders. Oh, off the top of the bar. From Heaven. Matt Wright made it happen from the free kick. Look how much room Manchester United gave him. Leighton thought it had gone. But Saunders wasn't giving it up. So close to number two from Heaven. Goddard. Be picking their passes at will at the moment. His Sage, Sharp working back. 
He wants too much time. Goddard stepping in. Still Goddard. Only Saunders and Callahan in the middle. Well, that must be at least the third time that Gartner's had to deal in that area with well-delivered crosses from the Derby right. This time it was supplied by Paul Goddard. It's a rampant Derby County. And Manchester United very fortunate to be only one goal behind. But men, it might be two now. Forsyth had the second touch and the third put off the post. Manchester United finding it very hard defending in the corners and yet they've had enough practice in this game there's been a stream of them but men caused the problems in came for Scythe and out it came of the post that's great it's United's best spell of the match in truth their only spell really match Derby in some control of the game and here's Hughes oh and when you need a moment of quality as Manchester United did Mark Hughes has provided it and United must feel that they've been let out of jail rather they've been overrun for so much of the first half and then suddenly Hughes strikes he got away from Hebert and didn't allow anyone to come out and close him down and it sped past Shilton. So Hughes gets his sixth goal all in the league and six in the last seven games. So we've had goals from the informed men for both sides. But it's pretty tough on Derby. We're looking at half time now, a minute or so away, on level terms. And that was Hughes giving us another indication and insight that he really is back to his very best. so often one goal a spell of domination chances to add to it a bit of bad luck sprinkled in as well but then the opposition strike back and we'll see what the new derby are made of in that respect a real blow to their morale as well as to the scoreline from their viewpoint McMinn Saunders to his right, Goddard to the left. Bruce has slipped. Goddard tried a curler. But Leighton really didn't have to move very far to his left to catch comfortably. The end of a first half with a real stick to it. Supplied, of course, by... Dean Saunders, there was an air of inevitability about that. His goal for Derby after seven minutes. But Manchester United, who'd been murdered for much of the half, hitting back through Hughes, and at half-time at the baseball ground, it's Derby County 1, Manchester United 1. Manchester United to get the second half underway. Derby really having to start all over again, having done so much good work in the first 45 minutes. But they're level at 1-1. Got up. Sage joining in. They want to get the ball to McMinn as often as possible. Immediately attracted three Manchester United players towards him, Ted McMinn. 
So there must be room elsewhere for men's derby teammates. But men who started with Rangers and then moved to Spain. And he linked up with Top Wallace's management with Seville. Derby County are playing. They take up any vantage point their followers to get a good view of their favourites. Got up well played to Saunders. A great turn on Robson. Callahan with him. And Hebert! Kept running and got his reward. Derby County have regained the lead. But in some ways a very strange goal. Good work in the build-up from Goddard and then from Saunders. And his shot looped up of Bruce. And Leighton hesitated. He thought it was going behind. He couldn't believe that Hebert could reach it and then get it in. That is an amazing goal for Derby. So three minutes into the second half, Derby back in front. Started it and he was very close to finishing it with that outside of the foot effort. Robson. Sharp has gone to left back. Leclerc. Olsen bursting to get into the proceedings. Sharp, the advantage played, although the linesman was flagging for the foul. Olsen. McClare! 2-2! And Olsen has made an immediate impact. And it was on the cards for Derby this time. Hughes' first equaliser, really a surprise, but Manchester United have been pressing since they were 2-1 down. Ties it all up again from Olsen's perfectly flighted cross. 2-2, and we're now 20 minutes into the second half. Saunders, got out in the centre, Hebert is there as well. Dean Saunders taking Manchester United on on his own. Second goal in the league this season. What a timely one. Robson clears. Mark Wright is there. Leighton keeping his eye on the ball, but well aware that Saunders was competing for it as well. former Manchester United apprentice to take over from Nigel Callahan. <laughs> 
Tidied out by Wright. Now Blades keeping his cool as Robson dived in. Goddard. Derby looking to recapture the zest of a period of domination for much of the first half. Williams gets it back from Sage. Here's Saunders. Came to try the difficult thing, although against Donaghy then it didn't come off. Goddard seemed to come back from an offside position. And Manchester United not happy with the referee. The officials could argue that Goddard wasn't interfering with play. He was right at the centre of the field. And I think Manchester United had a case. Instead, Derby have a free kick. And for Scythe! So close there to putting Derby back in front. Because it was the second ball that was there for the asking. Well, Manchester United parted then in front of Forsyth, but the header a yard away. So he's hit the post, he's come close. And a Liverpool-born left back. Still hasn't beaten Jim Layton. We're into the last minute. For side header. Mick away. The derby free kick. Play on, says the referee, although it wasn't taken quite from the correct spot. And Hebbard supplies Saunders. And in turn, McMinn. It's a corner. Williams. But that's the end of the proceedings. The baseball ground remains a lucky ground for Manchester United. They certainly rode their luck in the first half. The final score, Derby County 2, Manchester United 2. Derby back on course and up to eighth place with only eight goals conceded. The only blemish on the defensive record comes in the Littlewoods Cup. Derby have already beaten Southend United home and away in the first round. At West Ham, they're demolished, 5-0. There are two wins in the Seamod Cup, 1-0 over Bournemouth with Saunders scoring, 2-1 over Aston Villa, 2 from Micklewhite. Back in Division 1, success is continuing. There are three more unbeaten games, starting at Aston Villa. Downs taking the free kick. Keown. Mountfield! It worked perfectly for Aston Villa. Now McMinn. Saunders! The Dean Saunders success story for Derby goes on. And Goddard might get in here. Evans tracking back. Goddard beating him. Two goals in three minutes for Derby. Rowcastle. Oh, Mark Wright came in there like a novice, and Rowcastle's away now. Michael Thomas making a tremendous run to get up with him. Here is Thomas, and that is a very good goal. Michael Thomas, the scorer. Well, that's run nicely for Saunders. They're queuing up on the far post. Here's Phil G. Appeals for handball, and he's given it. Certainly the arm went up, but was it intentional? McMinn, good stop, here's Callaghan. Well, they've beaten him at last. Hebbard, still Trevor Hebbard, and Callaghan's away again. Confronted by Dixon, who's left him with a bit of space. And he might yet pay for that, Callaghan's away. Here's G, screamer! Sterling. Branson. Down by West. Oh, it'll come for Sterling. And the top scorer adds to his tally. It's his sixth of the season. Well, 
Neil Midgley has given a penalty against Laurie Madden. And it must have been handball in there behind Micklewhite. If Callahan scores here, it's a certain point for Derby. They've got it. Just. That's seven games unbeaten now, and Derby feature regularly at the top of the table. The point at Sheffield puts them fifth, only six points behind the leaders with a game in hand. These are Derby's best days in more than a decade. Suddenly, it all goes wrong. The Rams show terrific form away with three successive victories at Coventry, Newcastle and Queen's Park Rangers. At the same time, they collapse at home, losing four. Of those, three are nil-one, starting with Luton Town. Mind you, Derby are beaten by a stunning goal. Mick Harford proving he's not just good in the air. A cheer for Derby here. Handball awarded against Keith Houchin. A penalty after only five minutes. Nigel Callahan takes it. Steve Grizovic making a marvellous save. Coventry have made David Speedy their new captain. He did his level best from Cyril Regis's knockdown header to put his side in front. Another close shave for Derby with Speedy and Regis involved again. Keith Hatchin spinning into the shot that hits the post. But Peter Shilton, helped by his woodwork, gave a formidable performance. Two minutes into the second half, a chance for Paul Goddard. Close to his target, but unable to find it. And seven minutes later, Derby in front. Was that handball by Dean Saunders? It certainly looked it. Coventry hesitated, Saunders didn't, and he took the chance with a flourish. Derby wrapped it up with another stylish goal from another colourful character, Ted McMillan, Scotsman. Derby a fourth now, but not good enough for Liverpool. John Barnes for Steve McMahon. It's for Scythe now against Peter Beardsley. And the England man is away. Watch for Ian Rush. Brilliant finish. Five days later, Millwall are the visitors, and the result is just the same. Only one goal in it. It comes 13 minutes from time. The header coming in from Teddy Sheringham and some very unusual help from Peter Shilton. At Newcastle, it's Derby's turn to head for victory. Nigel Callahan with a free kick and watch for the man climbing highest. It's Mark Wright. Back home, surely Derby will end that sequence against struggling West Ham. Nigel Callahan with the first corner of the game. It's over Rossinia, but Saunders met it so sweetly. Potts. Shilton coming for this one. He didn't get there. Kelly did. Although I don't think he saw the ball go in. Brady. Quickening the tempo. Still Brady. Oh! That's very special indeed from Liam Brady and how Derby must be wishing that they could have stopped him manipulating the ball with his left foot. So it goes on, defeat at home, victory away, although Queen's Park Rangers make it tough. Oh, a complete miscue by Hebert. Pizzanti, and now Law, and now Kerslake. High march. Good stop by Seaman. Barker. Now Steve. He's a slippery customer. That's a foul by Mark Wright. And Queen's Park Rangers have a penalty. Earned by the sheer ambition of Mark Steen here. Right, Dripton. Next to be Simon Barker. But Shilton up against him. Law was a very solid header. Right finding an extra gear. Saunders. Now Blades. Williams. Hebert.
Abbott. A mistake by Parker of all people, and Saunders is clear, and Williams will score. Meanwhile, in the FA Cup, the pattern's almost the same. Trevor Hebbard rescues the Rams from home defeat by Southampton, then McMinn and Callahan win the replay. Form runs out in the fourth round, though. Derby lose at Watford. By this time, Derby are long since out of the Seamont Cup, beaten on penalties after a goalless draw at Wimbledon. Movement in the transfer market. Nigel Callahan sold to Aston Villa for £500,000. And then, at last, a change of fortune at home. Got on. Well played. And Hebbard has rounded it all off in style. Saunders getting the better of Moore. And that's a certain booking for the Southampton defender. Moore labouring again. He's in serious trouble now. And Kevin Moore goes without really a glance at the referee, George Courtney. in everything, and that's a penalty, the culprit, Cockerell. Dean Saunders for 3-0. Oh, he blasted it past Burridge. Right out. A chance for Southampton to collect something here, and that was Danny Wallace. But typically, just as the goals come back at home, the away form disappears. That's a useful ball for Goddard. Allen's drawn three towards him and got the run of the ball. Gordon, Derby appealing for offside, the flag has stayed down. Allen and Fleck! The instinctive reaction of a natural goal scorer, Robert Fleck. Got it. Played it straight against McMinn, and there's no cover on for Norwich here. McMinn is through. Well, it looked a bad miss, but maybe the replay will show that the ball just bobbled as he hit it. Everton next, a game to be screened in 60 countries across the world. Derby County have a reputation for entertaining football. They don't let anybody down. Well, landmarks come thick and fast for Peter Shilton these days. Today, his 850th league game. And by coincidence, Everton were also the opposition when he played his first for Leicester City way back in May 1966. Everton get the game underway, boosted by a place now in the quarter-final of the FA Cup. And possibly the Cups represent their best hopes of a trophy this season. Nick Pickering making his first contribution with his weaker right foot. But getting the call this morning when Ted McMinn dropped out with a septic foot. Clark going for the ball. McCall trying to arrive in support from midfield. The first meeting in the league between these two sides this season. And Ratcliffe was playing Pickering on side. But they're so quick at the back, our Everton. Ratcliffe could possibly have made up the ground, and certainly Southall sprinted off his line to defuse the situation. Indeed, Everton's defensive strategy, built on speed all across the back four, gives them the licence to push up. Hebbard, and the covering header, fell kindly off the chest of Mark Wright, the Derby captain venturing forward. Geraint Williams. Goddard had pulled out to the left, here's Pickering. Dave Watson is the defender. 
And Derby have the game's first corner. After three minutes, forced by Pickering with one or two points to prove here. Never really settled since his move last summer from Coventry. Michael White's gone across to take the corner. Mark Wright making his way up towards the near post. Wright struggling to get there, watched by Sharp. Williams with a terrific volley. And maybe that's a sign of things to come in terms of the quality of the goalkeeping. It was very well met by Geraint Williams. But Neville Southall was alert and made the save look comfortable. It certainly wasn't. Sheedy. So Southall called into action. Everton still feeling, and Derby as well, that with Arsenal and Norwich losing midweek games this week, that there might be an opportunity for a team coming from a lowly position in the top half of the table to make a run for the championship and capitalise on some nervousness at the top. So there's plenty to play for here. McDonald to take the free kick. Watson joining Sharp in the centre. Here's Clark. There's been plenty of speculation that Wayne Clark might be on his way from Everton. Certainly his eye for goal is coveted by other clubs. And he came in purposefully then at the back post. For Scythe. Now Hebert. Goddard astutely returned. Good football from Darby. Pickering. But Watson guarding the near post. Williams has already had one good shot from the edge of the area. And uh, there was no way that Pickering could get back onside. But it was put together well by Darby on the far side of the field. With Hebert, Goddard, and Pickering combining. Williams. Oh, and he's under-hit it. And Clark has just over-hit it in trying to catch Shilton off his line. But he is a predator around goal, Wayne Clark. And looks for that type of error. It was Geraint Williams who was the culprit. It was a deliberate chip and a very astute one, too. Williams getting it forward properly this time. Got out. That's a splendid ball to Mickle White. The flag has stayed down. Derby trying to fill the centre. Pickering. With Pickering on the left and Mickle White on the right, certainly Derby have got the players to serve the ball into the Everton area. Interested spectators there, Bobby Robson in the centre of the picture, the England manager. And to the right of him as we look, the Scotland team boss, Andy Roxburgh. Hebert for Goddard. Michael White is free again, and Goddard has somehow lifted the pass to him. Saunders in the centre, it's Dean Saunders! In the 19th minute, Saunders applied the finishing touch to a delightful derby move. And Southall is beaten by his Welsh international teammate. A very fine goal for the home side. And they don't come easy against Everton. 
Only the tenth goal they've conceded away from home in the first division this season. This is their thirteenth game. So Saunders gets his 10th goal for Derby, his 16th in all this season. That's a fine ball to Sheedy. And Sharp wasn't at the far post. Well, not where the ball dropped. McDonald collecting it and retrieving it. Now McCall doing likewise, Snowden. Pickering who can play left back indeed. Played for England there back in 1983. Goddard as a break that threatens Everton here. Williams is into the centre and so too is Saunders. It'll come for Saunders, oh dear! You could see what was in his mind to try and catch Southall coming back towards the centre of the goal. But Watson miscued and then Williams did. And put it wide. Southall was exposed. It could so easily have been 2-0. Well, that is a striker's lot. And the thing that Saunders will appreciate is that the chances are coming his way. Got out. Down for Saunders. Michael White taking over. There's only Goddard and now Pickering in the centre. But Hebbard lurking on the edge. Williams. Good derby pressure. As the first half draws to a close. Michael White, another deep ball. It's over Pickering. Good control by Forsyth, but a poor back pass that Sharp has intercepted. Is it a gift for Everton? It is. Graham Sharp, who's hardly had a look at goal in the previous 44 minutes. But Michael Forsyth played it where he thought Shilton might collect it. And no one knows better than the Derby left back, but it's really down to him. It didn't reach its target. Sharp was very alert. The finish was clinical. It's 1-1. And this at the end of a half when Derby have had much the better of things. Very similar to the first half in a match when we had the cameras here against Manchester United. That game finished 2-2. I wonder what the second half will bring. At the moment it's 1-1. And Derby, who were pressing to add to the lead that Saunders had given them, are suddenly pegged back. And Graham Sharp really in a good run at the moment. And impressing Andy Roxburgh, I'm sure, with the way he took that. His ninth goal of the season. Five of them have come now in the last seven games. It's half-time, and Derby were so close to going in a goal to the good. Dean Saunders in the 19th minute to round off an excellent move. But Michael Forsyth with the back pass that Graham Sharp intercepted has changed the picture here. It's 1-1 at half-time and a lot to play for in the second 45 minutes. Derby get the second half underway. The disappointment of conceding that equaliser, I'm sure, very fresh in their minds. What a boost to Everton, who were really on the wrong end of much of the first half. Although, Derby only created two clear-cut chances, one of which Saunders took, and the other he missed. Forsyth. It's a cue by Watson. 
with his sidekick in the centre of defence, Kevin Ratcliffe. Just filling in behind him and dealing with the danger. McCall getting the better of Hindmarch. It's another chance for Sharp. And really, that was, by his standards, a disappointing effort. Maybe just connected with the ground, hence that grimace of possible pain as well as disappointment. It certainly was a mishit. So, I suppose it's... Uh, Level now with Saunders, both have had two openings, both have got one out of two. Chilton not troubled really by Sharp's miss hit. And the chance came from a defensive misunderstanding involving Hindmarch. Now, Graham Sharp is going off, and I wonder whether we saw a clue there when uh, he missed that chance and looked as though he might have damaged himself. Pat Nevin, another Scottish international, of course, comes on. But that is a blow to Everton to lose not just the goal scorer here, but a player who is often the focal point of their work in terms of building up attacks. Play on. Derby trying to deliver a blow of a different kind. Nevin, his first job is to help out in defence. Saunders, Goddard was offside but not interfering with play, he got back. Micklewhite well found, Southall in trouble, but he got a hand to it and a strong one too, it cleared the area. Hebert. And it's 2-1 through Paul Goddard. Derby have regained the lead. And suddenly, in a minute, it's all gone wrong for Everton. Graham Sharp has gone off, and they're behind again. Hebert planted it in very precisely. Goddard on the stretch, and Southall showing his disappointment. He hoped a defender would get there, and he rather stayed, leaving the danger for others to deal with. 2-1 after 56 minutes. And Sheedy saw that coming. Clark, only Trevor Stephen up with him, although other forces are arriving now. McDonald. Stephen flicks it on for Scythe, covering well for Derby. Trevor Stephen really lifting his game when Everton need it. Nevin, and that is a foul by Hebbard. Maybe Everton can punish them from the free kick. It breaks loose for Sheedy again. Oh, and Wayne Clark, 2-2. Brilliantly taken goal. So, Clark covering up well for Tony Cotty's absence here. And he flung himself in at the near post and it sped into the corner. Sheedy doing his party piece as well by providing the accurate cross. 19 minutes left. Everton have hit back twice now. Well, one thing you can always say about Wayne Clark is he does know where the goal is. His small tally this season, because he hasn't been a regular in the side, but a goal scorer of high calibre to be called upon with Cotty not able to start the game and with Sharp now picking up an injury as well Clark look forward to a spell in the side 
And he's done his cause plenty of good with that second Everton equaliser. Williams. Here's Micklewhite. Four for the cross. Saunders is one of them. Pickering! Well, for half a second, it's sitting bound for the far corner. But so much of Derby's good work has come through Gary Micklewhite down that right-hand side. Saunders jumped well, distracted Watson. Pickering had the shot. It was across Southall, but across the goal. Graham Sharp joining in the encouragement from the Everton bench. Colin Harvey, the manager, on the extreme left. With Terry Derricott, the assistant, doing most of the shouting. Behind March. Crack on the back of the head for Trevor Stephen. Call and uh, Williams. Two very eager midfield men in direct competition then. Hebbard and Snowden going for a ball that was off the ground, but doing it fairly. Nickel White, Goddard's gone to the right. Possibilities for Derby here. Goddard is onside. It's a perfect goal. Simply perfect for Goddard. That had top quality written all over it. White through the centre this time. Goddard to the right. Southall off his line. And Goddard knew exactly what he was doing. That was wonderful finishing. Paul Goddard gets his second goal of the game. Derby have the lead for the third time in the match. Can they hang on to it? Certainly that goal deserves to be the winner. The winner it is. Derby up to sixth place in the league and enjoying themselves against the big names. Their away defensive record is second to none. Only six goals conceded in ten matches. But at Wimbledon, you can't see why. Well, Wimbledon allowed to bury the corner because no one picked up Joseph. And here's Roger Joseph again. And Wise. Oh, and Fashionu! That's where he likes them. Williams taken from him by Wise. Good save by Shilton from Krasinski. Well, Wise spraying the passes and Derby caught square this time and it's Miller, he's passed Shilton. Paul Miller, his first league goal. Hebert showing too much of the ball to Scales and Wimbledon aren't settling just for two in this first half. Blades on, they've let Miller in again and they've got a third. It's come all the way through to Fashionu. Easily away from Hindmarch. Blades struggling to get back. Paul Blades has brought down John Fashioner. Derby have conceded a penalty here. And there really was no doubt about it. Now Fashioner normally takes the penalties himself, but he's passed the honour to Paul Miller, who's on a hat-trick. He'd never scored in the league before tonight. And here's the chance for a real start to his goal-scoring career in the first division. Three past Peter Shilton and Wimbledon lead by four. A hat-trick against Peter Shilton. The headline writers love it. But things soon settle down again. Stewart jumping. Here's Mabbott. He's away from right. Shilton's made a tremendous save. And here's Paul Walsh, and again Peter Shilton down quickly. And he needed to be still the master, Peter Shilton, and it's not difficult to see why. God 
is Saunders. Oh, it's away. And Butters isn't going to catch him. Now, can he finish it? And there's the answer. A super strike from Dean Saunders. And Derby Edge in front. Gascoigne's there too. Here is Gascoigne. Oh, he squeezed it in on that near post. And Peter Shilton will be furious with himself. Typical Paul Gascoigne. 1 1. McMinn with the signal. My word, it's a goal straight from a corner, and it's come from Ted McMinn to the embarrassment of Stephen Pears, who could only help it into the net. Ripley, it's a sharp turn, a sharp shot. Cooper, who's cracked some beauties this season. Shilton has lost it, and it's Bernie Slaven, who couldn't profit from the England goalkeeper's fumble. And Shilton, who sets such high standards, is furious with himself. Derby hanging on rather at the moment. Hamilton! Derby aren't going to win a trophy this season, but to take four points from Forest would be a consolation. The Reds are in rich form though. Show Derby there's still a gap in class. Gainer. Taking on for Scythe. Clough setting it up for Hodge. Beautifully hit. And the travelling Forest fans delighted with the goal. Forest close to victory now. Right. And Chapman can make sure of it. And has done. And that's very hard on Mark Wright, who hasn't made many mistakes this season, but that was a very costly one. Despite their seventh home defeat of the season, Derby are a respectable eighth. Indeed, they've been there or thereabouts ever since Dean Saunders' arrival. There certainly aren't any relegation worries this time. Arthur Cox has maintained progress. The biggest test of that comes at Anfield, with Liverpool in championship form. McMahon! Oh, what a shot! Little White. Trying to run it to some sort of safety, and Whelan snapped at him and won it back for Liverpool. This is Aldridge. Beardsley goes outside him. Barnes at the near post. Barnes! Brilliant from Liverpool. Beardsley, Gillespie! That was almost like the sort of clearance he'd want at the other end. Coming from Liverpool again, from Houghton. Aldridge. <laughs> Williams. Saunders got it across quickly. Hammond. <laughs> Staunton, who's looked the most accomplished left back over the second part of the season. Barnes, Aldridge is there, so two is shot right off the line. Defeat, but a respectable one. Now Derby start to piece together another run of good results, starting with a double over Coventry. Derby still trying to crack the Coventry resolve, Micklewhite against Burrows, who impedes him. And the only question here is whether it was inside or outside, and the referee says it's not a penalty, it's a free kick on the edge. It's certainly worth another look. But the referee absolutely right. Blades, they've done it! From a most unusual quarter, Paul Blades with his first ever goal, the club's longest serving player. He's waited a long time for this, but it was well worth the wait, wasn't it? Gary 
it. Nicely done. Oh, and he scored! A really soft goal by the full marks, but the defenders in front of him move. Paris. On by Dickens. Rosinha! Oh! Great stop. Rosinha! Well, he's beaten Peter Shilton this time. At Old Trafford, the Rams produced one of the outstanding performances of the season. Bruce, who is the Manchester United captain today in the absence of Brian Robson. Seven here is Robbins. Good turn by Hughes. And still Hughes, and Shilton had to be quick and aware of the danger. Mark Hughes bearing down on goal like that is a fearsome sight for any goalkeeper. And Peter Shilton knew he had to react very quickly as Hughes just tapped the ball perhaps a yard too far in front. Majorana, who really likes to attack defenders, exciting young player, but this time he overran. Men for Dark. Claire. Hughes beaten by right. Now Williams for Darby. Fine run made through the middle here by Mickle White. And Anderson is caught in two minds. And Mickle White's beaten him. And he's beaten Leighton and given Darby the lead. What a moment for Gary Mickle White, the man who began his football league career here at Old Trafford, but never got to play in the first team. Anderson beaten. He's claiming, I think, that uh, he was knocked off the ball unfairly. And we can see again, well, for my money, that was a 50-50 challenge. And the goal stands. Martin beaten by McMahon. This is Saunders. And he's got Goddard in the middle and Micklewhite arriving. And still Saunders. Good run. And pulls it back beautifully. Oh! Dear, dear, no wonder the players are holding their heads. Both Micklewhite and Goddard could have forced that ball home. Derby could easily have gone two in front here. Saunders, showing all his pace, pulls the ball back towards Micklewhite. He kind of half hit it and Goddard on the far post couldn't get to it. Bruce. Robbins. Well, Shilton had a little bit of a difficulty with the first shot. It wasn't seriously trouble. A nice moment for Mark Robbins, the youngster getting in his first shot of the game and in full league debut. Took a little deflection and that probably fooled Shilton momentarily. McMinn winning it well. Goddard, good skill. Min again. Garvey's throw. Williams, McMinn, Williams in space, and driven in, oh, it was very, very close indeed from Saunders. United's defence was rooted to the spot then as the ball was played in from the right, and Saunders got away from his marker. Williams cross, and where was the marking? It's a foul on Majorana. Drops back to try and defend the attacks down the United left flank. Anderson forward again for this uh, free kick. Not back across the goal mouth and Blaze gets it off the line. That was unlucky. Bruce, the man who met the ball on the far side, looked a very difficult angle for the United man, but he won it well. Blades cleared from under the bar. Piers Moore with the corner. And Bruce there again. Shilton came and right was the head which met it first. Back it goes. And this time United have it again with Majorana. Oh, he did so well. 
Ooh. Well, the crowd applauding the run, if not the shot. McMinn. Back it goes to Goddard. Blades in support. McGrath denies him. It's a throw to Derby. A rare excursion into United territory in the second half for the visitors. But they still lead 1 0. This is Goddard. Blades. Saunders header. Look at what the goal scorer. The little layoff to Goddard. And he turns superbly. Well, it wasn't a bad effort either. Oh, Goddard was very close then. A sweet piece of play by Derby County. Four players involved in the build-up. Goddard turning to make room for himself here. Really fooled Donaghy. And clipped that right foot shot very close to the post. Right again, brilliant defending. Saunders. Oh yes, he got away from Bruce magnificently. And he's got Goddard up in support here, and he looks for him, and he finds him, and it's 2-0. Leighton beaten, and Derby County's two front men exploit their pace and timing to perfection. Saunders was brilliant, the way he turned Bruce, got forward, looked up, Saw got on and marked on the far post. Thank you very much. That's 2 0. Superb goal. Simplicity itself in the build up. And a fine finish by Goddard. Goddard's first goal since he got two against Everton in February. It's come against the run of play as far as the United are concerned. But it's 2 0 to Derby. And the right planes are well at the back. United are going to have real trouble to get back into this game. But here they go with Anderson. McClare! Oh! If that had gone in, it would have been some goal. Donaghy forward. McMinn gets it away. McClare so unlucky. He scored a hat-trick against Derby in the corresponding match last season. And he nearly beat them again then. That's a very satisfying result. Now, it's Sheffield Wednesday, struggling against relegation. by Darren Wood. Hebert intercepted. There are four up for Derby here. Hebert. And Saunders! Three more points. It's clear now that Derby will finish in their highest position in more than a decade. Above them, the title race is hotting up between Arsenal and Liverpool. Next for the Rams, three games against bottom teams, all of them desperate for points. Charlton, in fact, will need to beat Derby to stay up. But first, a poor day on the plastic. A bad day all round this one. Luton needing an early goal to settle their nerves. They get it. Very first minute, Priest clear. Peter Shilton mistimes his dive, and that's a penalty. Danny Wilson, Northern Ireland International, reliable as ever. Luton a goal up. Second goal coming up on the hour. Luton relying on Mick Harford in the air, and this time he gets a lot higher than Shilton. A fine header. And while poor Peter Schultz was having his problems in the derby goal, at the other end, young Chamberlain, playing for Luton, produces a fine save to deny Dean Saunders. And derby making things very difficult for themselves with this back pass from Garant Williams. Kingsley Black, and that's 3-0. Well, really, the game effectively finished as a contest, but drama now... Wegerly is clear, he's gone beyond Shilton, tackle from Forsyth, and that's second penalty. Closing minutes, these, remember, and Derby incensed. Mark Wright is sent off for the second time this season. It doesn't matter, Shilton saves from Harford. Oh, 
and it's reached flat. And Aston Villa fighting for their lives in the first. Britain have scored first here. Right, Saunders. One-one. Hebert deflected. Derby in front. Humphrey as Charlton probe again. Just a minute before half time. Lee. Williams. And Andy Jones is unlocked. 1 0. Andy Jones. Mackenzie might hit it. He did. Good save by Shields. And there's Shirtliff. Charlton know it's very nearly safe. Forward by Pates. Mackenzie and Williams. And that will keep Charlton in the first division. And so to Highbury and the top of the table. Arsenal hoping for and expecting three points to hold off Liverpool in the title race. But Derby have a different plan. Into Rowcastle. Again. And Rodecastle again. Faced by Hebert. And Rodecastle takes on Hebert and he's got past him. Here's Richardson. Well, it was a reasonable chance. He was unmarked. Shilton through the back with a punch. Rodecastle! Micklewhite. In from Williams. Saunders! That's a brilliant volley, a splendid goal for Derby. Dixon. Now Thomas. Hustle. Finding extra resources again. Richardson. And Shilton touched it onto a post. For Winterburn. Well, Shilton had to be sure. Merson did well, and Winterburn is free. And Shilton, a flying save again from Winterburn. looking to get in behind Blades and he's holding him off and Smith's inside it here's Smith off the bar and that really was a good chance <laughs> Saunders and the run from Goddard against Adams and he's part of Tony Adams Thomas getting back and Saunders Goal beckoning, and he scored from a much more difficult chance. Arsenal still trying to solve the problem given to them by Dean Saunders' goal after 26 minutes. And off goes Saunders again. Adams is there first, but a mistake by Adams. And Saunders can take it on here. Down he goes, that's a clear cut penalty. Dean Saunders. His 21st goal of the season, he's got it and put Arsenal in serious trouble here. It's an Arsenal corner. Congregating at the near post. And Smith has got a touch, he's got in. Four minutes left, Alan Smith has pulled it back to 2-1. The result of the season and a double for Derby over the Gunners. 2-1 at Derby in November. 2-1 at Highbury in May. Not even defeat at Goodison Park in the last game can take the shine off it. And took a really good goal to beat Derby as well. Something quite special from Ian Wilson, number 11, involved at the start of the move. And at the end of it, getting it back and hitting a great volley beyond Peter Shilton.
So, Derby's final place. It's a very critical fifth. 17 wins, 7 draws, 14 defeats, 40 goals scored, 38 against, and 58 points. The top goal scorers, Dean Saunders, making a huge impact with a total of 15. Trevor Hebbard gets 8. Paul Goddard, he'll be disappointed with only 7. Gary Micklewhite, 6. Ted McMinn, 5. That's it then. Good luck for next season. We leave you with the goal of 88-89 by Paul Goddard.